Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here, Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you like these watches, you can buy them on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we are discussing the latest version of the Omega Seamaster Professional Planet Ocean 600 meter. In 2016 the line was revised, gaining the new Metas certified master chronometer movement and a set of new case proportions and dimensions. The dimension of this model, which is the mainstream of the line in titanium grade 5, is 43.5 millimeters and many who have been frustrated by the larger Planet Ocean case sizes are going to find that the 43 in titanium is just right. It's still a thick watch, make no mistake, that's sort of a Planet Ocean signature, 16.1 millimeters thick. It might fit under a jacket, it will not fit under a sleeve. That said, lug to lug, it's a nice 49.2 millimeters and I always consider 50 millimeters or fewer lug to lug to be important if your wrist is smaller for a guy 14 to 16 and a half centimeters. My wrist at 16 centimeters circumference wears this one easily. The lug spacing, should you wish to accessorize, is 21 millimeters, but I actually find this factory strap fits and looks the business. Easy to wear, you'll note that even though it closes the gap to the flank of the case for a highly integrated look, this textile stamped rubber, and, and it is effectively just a molded contrasting color also in rubber. Nicely matched to the lugs, they jut straight down and around the wrist, so you don't get the sense that this one wants to flare out and fight you. Vulcanized rubber and very sturdy. This has every indication of being a half decade strap or longer on the wrist. Full titanium to point, you will note twin triggers so it can't pop open, handsome different differential finish, a combination of satin as well as polish, and then on the inside a minder system so that when you actually size this one and buckle it down on your wrist, you tuck any excess length underneath the body of the clasp. There are no minder loops, there's no excess strap flapping in the breeze, and the clasp itself features a contour on its underside to trace the arc of the wrist so it's very comfortable. The case is familiar to Omega devotees. You'll note satin finished flanks and polished bevels. Not exactly a crown guard structure so much as a traditional Omega, let's give ourselves a bit more light here, but a traditional Omega shouldered system so that there's a sheer guard with a crown that's recessed into the case rather than having a large unsightly and wrist digging crown guard structure. Helium escape valve present and correct. You'll note that if you do dive in a exotic gas mixture and you consider yourself a saturation diver, that will be perfect equipment, a tool of the trade. For everyone else, it's simply a conversation starter, but a grand one. The watch is excessive, but in an endearing way. You have more more luxury than you need. One might even say the definition of luxury is having more than you need. The bezel. With a ceramic insert for 45 minutes, except for the first 15, I found in practice this rubber insert, this orange rubber insert, so you can more easily read the first 15 minutes of your timed interval, has never delaminated. I've never seen one of these degrade, pop out, fracture, get torn, discolor. They, send, they tend to be just as durable as the ceramic insert itself. So that's, that's the wisdom of accumulated ages from my perspective. You'll also note, and we're going to get close to the dial now and improve the focus, my apologies, that the dial itself features two standout refinements. The first is that the dial is grade 5 titanium like the case. Grade 5 titanium is very tough stuff. Externally, it's going to be more scratch resistant than a standard 316 steel. Why do you want it on the dial? Well, it's handsome and it nicely matches the coloration of the remainder of the watch. But the other refinement, other than the blasted grade 5 titanium dial base is that all of the hands and indices are oxidized white gold. So darkened for contrast, but they are white gold to resist tarnish and oxidation over time. The Planet Ocean is a flagship piece. Now you will note that you can line up the luminescent pearl of the bezel with the minute hand. Now you have an ideal 0 to 60 minute timing working. I find that dive bezels are just that much more convenient for use than mechanical chronographs. There is a hacking or stop seconds function. When you screw the crown out, you can halt the entirety and synchronize to a reference time, or you can use the intermediate setting position and adjust the time forward or backwards in one hour steps. You'll note I can even drive the date forward or backwards with no hazard to the watch. This is excellent because it doesn't affect the precision of your timepiece as you're traveling. Try Arabics in the Planet Ocean's signature orange. I find the orange to be a unique highlight. Orange in watches is not terribly common, and the Planet Ocean series has always used it well. 
K-Spec, Metas chronometer. So it's COSC, but then it's also run to the new Metas certification. Metas is the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, and it helped Omega to create this new standard, which is a test of chronometric precision to and beyond the COSC standards, because this watch is adjusted in six positions as a fully cased watch. COSC is five positions as a bare movement. 60-hour power reserve, twin mainspring barrels, in series for even torque release from maximum wind to minimum wind. It beats weigh at 25,200 operations per hour. It pivots on 39 joules, full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock resistance, silicon hairspring for anti-magnetism, all of this water resistant to 600 meters, uses a coaxial escapement with tri-level architecture, and it is the modern realization of the once theoretical advantages of the coax. When introduced in 1999, it wasn't quite there, but George Daniels had the right idea. Omega, with its industrial might and some help from ETA, has created a reliable and dead accurate exotic escapement that you can wear on your wrist and take diving tomorrow. If this technology came out of the likes of De Bethun, Richard Mille, or Chichère Lecoultre, we'd go nuts. In Omega, we just take it for granted. Don't overlook how extraordinary the coax really is, especially the latest Metaz certified versions. You can see, and you can own, this hardcore Omega Diver in a wrist-friendly 43.5 millimeter titanium case on the watch box. And we're back with the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 43 millimeters in titanium. As you can see, there's plenty of lume on the dial, including a lumed seconds hand, which unfortunately is not universal in the dive category. Omega does the right thing, looms all three hands. You also know differential loom green for the bezel pip as well as the minute hand to more easily time an interval and more easily distinguish the critical minutes hands from the remainder of the dial displays. See it and make it yours on our website.